This video is going to be about MIDI keyboard controllers as well as MIDI sound modules. I have the MU50 sound module by Yamaha and I have an MK4902 MIDI keyboard controller. Most MIDI keyboard controllers and most MIDI sound modules are going to pretty much act exactly as what you see before you in this particular video. There'll be some variations, but for the most part, they'll have the same features and functions. So to get things started, I have the pitch bend. I also have the modulation. I don't know if that'll come through on YouTube or not, but there, there is a little bit of difference between them. If we notice, I have an octave select, so if I switch this, you can see it, it switches by octave. I'm going to set it back where it needs to be. The transpose, now the transpose and octave could be done with the sound module, but it's nice to be able to do it within the MIDI keyboard controller itself. I thought it might be helpful to show a still image of my MIDI keyboard controller. Channel 5 will be a harpsichord. See if I slide over harpsichord. Channel 6 is a grand piano, but when I go to channel 6, you're going to notice it sounds more like a violin. Or like a cello. It is a piano, but I want to let people know if I go into the edit, and I'm in EG, if I go into enter, the attack time is at 12. If I bring this back to zero, now we can tell it's a piano. If I adjust the attack time again, I'll put it at 11 or 12, we'll, we'll put it at 11. It's basically doing a volume swell. It's, it, it's taking it a few milliseconds to, to get to the actual highest point of the volume. So it's really making it sound a little bit more subtle than a really harsh attack, I guess. That's one way to look at it, but it is just a grand piano. So if I hit exit, well, you wanna know what? Let me take the attack time down to zero again. And I wanna exit out. See, it's a piano. Now I want to slide over to where it says other. I'm going to hit enter. We have the partimento off right now, but if I switch it on, see how it's kind of making a wamp, wamp, wamp sound? It almost sounds a little bit like a slide guitar because the partimento, instead of just hitting like an A note and then a C note and then an E note, it will kind of try to blend the notes together, almost like how you could with a slide trombone, or like I said, a slide guitar, you could hit, hit it and just use the slide and slide to the next note. That's what it mainly does. You can vary the amount of it. We could make it more intense. That's almost way too much. I don't really use this particular effect it all so I'm gonna go back and I'm going to shut it off because I just don't really want it on see now it's not making that sound and that's one thing I wanted to show about these sound modules which makes them pretty cool is you can control a lot of different parameters for all the different instruments but I'll exit out really quick the one thing I like about this particular graphic user interface is I can go to all the different parts like here we see I'm at grand piano. I could raise and lower the reverb really quick just by sliding over with this and, and I could raise the reverb and you're going to see me raise it. I don't really need reverb. Now that I'm above the reverb here, here's chorus, here's variation, here's volume express and stuff like that. We're seeing where it stands as far as the other uh, instruments and other channels as far as where the reverb is. Now I'm going to bring the reverb back to zero because I don't want reverb on my grand piano. And we see that now it, it's dropped down. But if I slide through all the different instruments, like this is channel eight, we can see there's a lot of reverb. It's the highest one up there. But I can lower it down. I can raise it up, make it the highest one again. 
I can, where it's on reverb, I can hit this to be over where the chorus is. Now I can raise the chorus. Now we're looking at where all the different chorus levels are set. So you can scroll through them really quick. I can bring the chorus all the way down to zero. And like I said, we can, we can slide over to any instrument we want and, and do the chorus. Like for uh, channel five, here you're seeing me bring up the chorus. I'm gonna bring it down because I don't want chorus on channel five, but that's how easy it is to switch different things with this particular um, sound module. Now here's the, the, the variation and you can only have that on or off, but let me hit exit and let me go into uh, edit or effect, I'm sorry. Let me go into effect and here we see the variation. And if I hit enter, we can see that it does have parameters that you can switch. Um, I don't really mess with these, so I'm gonna just exit. But here is the, the chorus as well. We can go in there really quick. There's all kinds of stuff you can switch. You can make it sound like a chorus or, or even a flange kind of as well. But we'll exit, and of course the reverb, when you go into reverb, there's all kinds of different reverbs that you can do. So it does give you some kind of control over the reverb and the chorus and, and all that. It's a, it's a nice you know sound module, I think, as far as graphic user interface is concerned. Same with the pan, we can go over to the pan and I can pan this you know, more to the right and then I can go to the other uh, instrument and, and pan this the other way. I don't really want to, so let me switch this back to, to where it was. What I can do now is I can go through all the different instruments really quick. So, And what I can do is with this, with these buttons on the top, I can go through all of these different instruments that I've got and change them out really quick. I don't really want to change any of them out and I want to bring this one back to the grand piano. If I hit channel 12, now I have access to channel 12 and we're seeing 12 light up. But what I'll also do right now is since we're, we're we have the little triangle, I guess, on the right side of the instrument. See, once again, I can. By default, channel 10 will be drums. Channel 10 just goes to drums. But if I go to channel 11, we got the rock organ again. What I can do, though, is go into edit, where it says other, if I hit enter, where it says part normal, I can switch this to drums. Um, let me switch this to drum. Even though this is channel 11, it is playing the drum because I switched it. See, if I go back to um, normal, and there's different drum kits in there. Now we do have the rock organ, which is what it really should be. So there's a lot of different things you can do. I wanna let people know, if you get a brand new MIDI keyboard controller and a brand new MIDI sound module, like off of eBay or something like that, it's in your best interest to, I'm gonna exit out of here, to set it to factory default. Because if it's not at factory default, there's a good chance you might not get anything coming out. So let me go into utility. This is how it is on, on, the, on the Yamaha MU50. Where it says dump out, you would hit enter. Where it says all, you would want to dump out all of it. Like if I hit enter, I do not want to dump the data, so I'm going to hit exit. I wasn't able to demonstrate all the features and functionality of my MIDI keyboard controller and my MU50 sound module. Hopefully in another month or two, I'll be able to connect my MU50 up to my computer and play back some music compositions.